this is just showing you the layout on the um, the PlayStation 2. You'll see that I have Tech N pulled up, and it's connected to first player. Share sweet pea. Alright, so what I'm going to do, let's get the game kicked off. I don't have any sound right now, no speakers connected. So press start, go ahead and choose easy, and then press A. So go down to options, and then controller setup. Okay. So, you'll notice this button right here, I'm going to keep it held down, it's square, this button is triangle, this button right here, which would normally be RB on the Xbox 360, is the right number one, and this one should be left number one. So, this one is going to be X, this one is circle, this one is right number two, see, and this one is left number two. So, that's the reason why I lined it up that way, otherwise, this would be left number one, this would be left number two, this one would be right number one, and this one would be right number two. It just, it wouldn't work out the way that it's supposed to match up with the, uh, the Cthulhu Multo Console hack on the inside. So, um, all of these should work with the, um, with the cabinet itself. In fact, I've tested them with the cabinet, and they all work properly, minus the uh, second punch button on the second player. I moved the chip from the second, the first to the second player, and this one is at the one that's having the problem. I'll fix it. It's not that big a deal. So, anyway, that's just how it works. I wanted to show you how it's it's set up. Um, the start and the select buttons are up here. Back is select, of course. And uh, I know that if you press the guide button, it will activate like turbo or something like that, but my suggestion is that you don't touch it in any other mode than Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. Okay? Alright. That's that.